Hi everyone, welcome back to U77 and our weekly patrol log. Last time we were outside Pilot Town Harbour, ready to set up an attack, and we are still there. Gamma is up because it's pitch black outside, so hopefully you might be a chance for you to see something. There we go, right, so we've got that big cruise ship. I've, uh, I'll show you where, exactly where I am in a second, uh, and I'll angle the... Uh, I can see a flag there. Oh wait, there, there's the ship there. Okay, so um, yes, there's a, there's a warship there. We've got the, oh, the um, troop ship should be about there. We've got a massive ship there, and we've got some more ships in there. So there's a, what we got there? Let's, um, let's identify these as we go. Uh, a Clemson destroyer, nice. Well, uh, we'll let that one go. We've got a large ship here, which uh, it doesn't seem to be able to identify just yet. The largest ship in the dock doesn't seem to be being spotted, which is fine. Uh, we've got some, obviously, what look to be uh, power stations or something. We've got a large ship here, which I guess is this one. And this is a modern cargo ship, okay. And then we're behind the Yes, behind the uh, quayside wall. Oh, look, that is going to be. There's some ships there. Look, this is going to be really challenging to actually. How on earth am I going to get it? I could shoot through here or shoot through there. I doubt there's the room to maneuver in there for me to spin round and. That's interesting. They may be safe from me just for the sake of. I can't. There's another one. There's there's two of those large. You can see two sets of those yellow funnels. So there's two more large troop ships. The one which is directly in front of me, which we don't seem to be able to spot. There she is. Um, oh, there she is now. There we go. We've got her. Uh, let's lock onto her. And what is she? She is a European ocean liner. Nice. Well, um, that's the obvious shot to go for straight away, isn't it? What do we have? We have um, a magnetic torpedo. Okay, we'll go for torpedo tube one then. Uh, angle about is literally 90 degrees, isn't it? There or thereabouts. I don't think we really need to do too much calculation here. Sorry if things are a little bit bright, but of course that's the gamma being turned up. Um, 93 degrees. Lovely. And the distance, to, we could probably do this the proper way now. Hang on, if we can get that down onto the actual uh, water level itself. And then do this. Boop. 1,300 meters, that reckons. Let's do a quick double check. 850, brilliant. Brilliant. We'll go with 850. <laughs> Because it's probably... Oh, I might as well just type the damn thing in. There we go. 93 degrees. Make sure that is on the right side. Yes, it is. Um, speed. A zero. She is going a nowhere. And all oh, that looks groovy. Right, so, torpedo tube Close one. Tube two. Flood. Flooding tube one. Bewässert. Now, this is the magnetic one, so we could go magnetic and stick it just below the hull line. It's nice and calm, so this should be okay. If not, we can always just fire it with one of the other ones. It's, it's not going to get, it's not going anywhere, so um, let's give this a whirl. We could potentially go a bit lower, but I think that's going to be fine. Right, uh, let's fire. And let's get what, let's get that loaded in. Okay, a good hit, and she appears she may have been killed straight away, or 
Yes. European liner, 19,000 tons. Thank you very much. Our 34th kill, taking us up to a total of 242,840 tons. Nice. Right. This Clemson destroyer. Oh, actually, maybe we could take a shot in here first. Um, no, it's probably best we come over here and fire through there, do you reckon? Oh, that's, a, that's a warship, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how best to engage these. Um, where is she? There's there's that one there. Tracking new target. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge, isn't it? I think it's the back of the ship. Hmm. See, that is just too. We can't fire. We can't go in and fire because it's just, just too tight. These ships are pretty much safe. There's no way we're going to get to them. I'm wondering if we could angle shots through here. Definitely that one. Probably that one. I wonder if it's worth chancing a straight on shot of this one. It's not going to be a great shot, I grant you. But um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how we can do this. Uh, so, angle of bow on this one is going to be an interesting one. It's 179. Right, so angle of bow. Now, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, what do we have? Steam's being loaded. Okay, steam tube Flooding 2. Tube Let's two. flood you. Uh, we could go underneath in magnetic. magnetic that might on. work. Magnetic detonator switched on. Um, distance. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. What does that say? Twelve fifty. Okay, um, we'll go obviously magnetic so she can sail under the ship if need be and, and give it a go. Let's um, let's see how that goes. Uh, I might start my turn. Right, that's... Okay, uh, what do we have there? Ladder search pattern. Okay. Slowed her in. What we also have to bear in mind is that ship we just destroyed may start to become a little bit of a nuisance as she touches the uh, the seabed and starts gyrating crazy like they usually do. Okay, that is a confirmed kill as well. Nice. 35th victim of our tour. A modern cargo ship for 10,643 tons. Nice. Right, who else do we have? So there's the key side. Where's the key side end? Right there. I don't think we're going to get a shot through there. Uh, we're going to have to try and set up for here. But what we'll do. We'll set up a rearward shot for this uh, Clemson destroyer here, and um, yeah, and that might be a good one to get one of the warships out of the way as well. But yes, good. Only a few minutes in already, a ocean liner sent to the bottom and a modern cargo ship. So just under thirty tons in total, I think it is. So that is nice. Oh, she's going straight down. Wow. This is where she hits the seabed and bounces back and does all sorts of crazy things and starts wiping these ships out, but we don't get credit for it. That's the problem with attacking harbours. It's a bit of a bit of a cheap one, but sometimes it's just fun to uh, create 
create some havoc. Yeah. Oh, look at those two liners there. I wonder if we can do any trick shots and get them to bang, jump over the walls like salmon. That would be amazing. Not that salmon jump over walls, but they jump up waterfalls. You know what I'm trying to say. Just go with me on the um, poetic license here. All right. Okay, we're going to do a bit of maneuvering, and I'll see you in a few. Okay, uh, we've now made, we're now making the turn, as you can see, and we're setting up almost for a nice shot on the rear. So if you switch to the rearward looking, there she is, Clemson Destroyer, uh, range, let's get rid of some of these markers, nice. Right, so our range is uh, 1,050. Now she's facing that away. So, 106 and 1050. So, hundred six. Make sure that is, and 1050, wasn't it? Okay, we'll do this. There we go. Oh, I put the. Oh, hang on. That, that this is, needs to be 106. I beg your pardon. Yep, and bearing from my periscope. There we go. Uh, yeah, 163. Lovely. Right. So torpedo tube five. She is very shallow. Torpedo depth set to one meters. Torpedo tube five, please. Um, she's shallow, medium speed, that should be good. Flood tube 5. Nice to get a warship every so often, especially when it's sitting there, helpless. Not even with her boilers warmed up. Right, fire. Right, we'll get that reserve in, and then obviously we'll bring the external when we are away from this place. Okay, and that looks like she is gone. Clemson destroyer for 1,190 tons. Obviously, it's not the tonnage; it's just the sake of getting rid of a, a destroyer, which might cause us problems. Um, taking us to 254,000 tons, 673, 36 ships in all, and over f uh, 5,000 tonnage in warship tons now. Obviously, we're more interested in the merchant tonnage. The uh, ocean liner is um, doing something interesting. Uh, and the the other ship seems to be behaving itself actually, which is quite nice to see. Good, right. So we're going to manoeuvre. You can see where we're going to go and see if we can get a shot at this one. Mm, meh. Maybe if I can come to about there. Yeah, stop stop the turn now. And uh, yeah, which mm, yeah. See if we can get a shot at that one, maybe a shot at that one. I think that's the best we can probably do. Right, so we'll do a bit of manoeuvring and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've done our bit of manoeuvring. Let's spin this. Oh, we've got a bit of a the, uh, the lights on us. They're trying to blind us, but that's okay. Um, so dead ahead, there should be, yes, there she is, there she is, just sitting right there, and she is 
a bulk cargo carrier. Um, she is sitting some 600 meters in front of us. Nice. Uh, her angular bow is 90 degrees. Yeah. Speed. There isn't any. Uh, what do we have? Steam in one, three, and four. Let's get top tube four flooded. Yeah, they're trying to blind us, but uh, it's not going to work. Uh, medium speed. That should be a nice, simple shot. Fire. Okay, torpedo was a dud apparently. Interesting. All right, torpedo tube one then. Flood that. We'll go impact. What is that? Let's just re verify our range. 550, 600, yeah. Okay. Right. Hopefully this one's going to be a little bit better. Don't hit the wall. First objective complete. Now, can you go and finish that one off for me, please? Please, thank you. On target. We must be too close. We must be too close. Let's back up. Otherwise, I don't understand why she is not just, you know, detonating. detonating. Torpedo tube three. Maybe we'll go magnetic. We're going to get a little bit distance. Um, oh, look, that, that ship is just poking out. We won't be able to get it because of the wall. The wall is there and we've got like oh, about a foot at the bottom where you can maybe snag it, but uh, it's very unlikely. I'll stop. Okay, we moved back to uh, 900 meters now, so um, this should give a bit more of a, a bit more of a thing. Just in case we were a bit too close. We shouldn't have been. But um, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, actually, I'm going to go impact again. Uh, let's switch to three. That might be helpful. Oh, accidentally faffed around when I didn't mean to. Right. Fire. That's all our torpedoes fired. We've got one in the rear. I want to keep well, at least one in the... F well, maybe we could always fire the one in the front as well. Um, just in case we need one to get out of the uh, the port, maybe. You never know. Nice, and she is gone by the looks of it. Oh, this is a bit cheap, isn't it? Bulk carrier, at uh, bulk yeah, cargo carrier, sure eight thousand and ninety-five tons gone. CO two is getting a little bit high now, so um, what's really nice is that those destroyed ships have behaved themselves, and they haven't. You can see the oil slick. They haven't done anything um, dramatic like uh, spinning out of control and zipping in the air like we've seen in the past, which is quite nice. Um, right then. Um, I don't think we can get much. Well, maybe we could angle a shot against this one. Which is a destroyer. Do we want to take out a destroyer? We probably do just for the sake of it, but... 
Um, I could perhaps get an angle on this one if I... Okay, let's try something. Let's... Uh, if I can have command, please. Thank you. If we sort of come out, we want to probably come to about there, then come this way. And then maybe get a rearward shot at that one. That's going to be a bit of a trick shot, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, dramatic scenes. What appears to be the ship we just sunk has just rolled over and slid on the surface and hit the uh, the destroyer next to it. Now, that, after me praising the sunken ship, they're starting to misbehave a little bit, but that's okay. Right, so, unfortunately, what that has done is created a smoke screen for the ship we were going to shoot at, which was near this light. Ah, there she is. No, maybe it's just the scratches on the um, periscope. Uh, she was this one. There, apparently. Right. Um, I don't see her at all, but uh, switch to tube 5. Flabbing tube five. The Bevesa to tracking your it's a tanker. Nice. A Simran class tanker. Bearing 190 degrees range. We can work out. Uh, I've got this destroyer here pinging us, but is. Boiler's not fired up, so he can't shoot at us, so it's okay. Um, that is approximately, what's that, 800 meters? So range is 800 meters. Now what we need to do is try and do a trick shot and hit the front of this sh um, ship. Angle of bow, let's get rid of that, is, this is the front of the ship, so if we want to... Um, Actually, if we want to, let's calculate it a little bit differently. To about there. Angular bar is 46. Bing. Let's annoy them. Depth under keel right is away. three meters, Captain. Depth under right keel away. is three meters, Captain. Anyway, Depth um, under keel is three right. Meters, so if I Captain. unlock that Depth for a moment and then set it there, you can see Captain. the start of the ship there. Depth so that the bearing meters, is following the periscope, which Depth is awesome. So I want to go there. Meters, I want to go Depth magnetic, and I want to go meters, deep. Captain. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Or do I just want to hit the damn thing? Depth set to 10 meters. There is a ship behind it. So, the chances are it's not going to be as deep as the tanker. So, we're going to go impact. Make sense? Yeah. Magnetic detonator switched off. Fire. Okay, we got a good hit. We got a good hit. We don't have any um, aft torpedoes left, but that's okay. I'm guessing this is the hole we've done. You can see that's the ship's hole goes down on there, and it's kind of glitched out, and it's given us the, the, the massive hole that we've just inflicted in the front of that ship. Um, so that could be just a matter of time before that goes down, which is grand and groovy. Um, there's not much hope trying to get these ones. Oh, we don't have a rearward shot anyway, so we'd have to turn around. Um, so what we're going to do is start plotting our way out of here. I think we've done enough havoc, and we've still got um, a couple of torpedoes yes. should we run into something, and we'll bring that reserve one in once we get a chance. So that has been a very fruitful few hours. 
let's bring um, the scope down and give that destroyer, destroyer, that tanker a chance to uh, sink. All in all, not a bad bit of work. Happy with that. Right, let's um, brave those destroyers and try and get out of here. Go back for a rearm and a resupply. Right then, guys, we're coming out of the uh, the harbour, as you can see. Um, it's still dark, and we've got no contact, so I'm going to chance surfacing the boat, only for a briefest of moments, so we can um, vent the air and get all that sorted. We did get that tanker. There she is, a Cimarron class tanker for 7,604 tons. So, a rundown from the top. Warship tonnage, 5,420. Merchant tonnage, 260. Radar signals. Uh, merchant tonnage, 264,952. Total of 270,372, which is 38 ships in total and zero aircraft destroyed. Um, where's that radar coming from? Oh, look, that ship has um, respawned. We're not going to go back in to do some che and, uh, and more cheap kills. Um, but we've just vented the air, which is good. And uh, and that should be grand. Right. Um, yeah, we're going to sail out of here. And I'll bring you back when something interesting happens or when I make the decision of what we're going to do next. Um, we are probably going to head back. Uh, obviously into the, the Gulf, so there's a bit more um, room to manoeuvre and then re request a resupply and see where we go, uh, see where that takes us and we'll obviously try and do a bit of hunting on the way there. Um, but we've really stirred up this port now, um, so it's time to get out of here when we know there's a couple of destroyers searching around here. So this should be interesting. In fact, let's hug this side, shall we? We'll, come, we'll hug this side of the coastline on the way out. And that should give us a bit more room to manoeuvre. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. Here we go. Oh, breath of fresh air. Daylight has come, and uh, the seas have calmed down, and we've managed to get that external rearward firing torpedo into the uh, aft torpedo tube. Um, or into the reserves, anyway, so we'll get her loaded in. So that's all good and groovy. Um, we are here. We've made it out... Without any bother, last time you were with me, we were... Uh, here we are. We were coming out of this port, weren't we? Uh, there was a destroyer on this side of the bay, which we were able to sneak around. And since then, we've um, marched on quite um, unhindered. Which has been quite lovely. Uh, what we're going to do now is request a resupply, and then we're going to make our way there. Uh, it's been pretty good. Pretty good day, all in all. Um, we managed to easily skirt around uh, the... Oh, bugger. Okay. Maybe we need to get um, back out here then. What was that? Hog Islander freighter we sunk on the 19th of February. That was like almost 10 days ago. What, why has that appeared on my map? Weird. I'm getting weird contacts marked up on there. There's the one we did um, the 24th, which, okay, it's only four days ago, but in fact, that's like two weeks ago, wasn't it? when we've sunk that tanker, but um, that's fine. Right, uh, so we're going to move more into um, out here, and then hopefully we can get... We, there was a, a resupply here somewhere, wasn't there? Around uh, Cuba and Haiti. So um, uh, hopefully we can find that. Uh, so it's not going to be as smooth sailing as I thought it was going to be getting resupplied. So uh, I'll probably do this offline, and I will see you next week for more adventures from the crew of U-77 on our weekly patrol log. So this week we have done all sorts of damage. Sinking, oh, how many ships? One, uh, one destroyer. And we've also, we also destroyed another one kind of with um, the wreck of one of the other ta uh, merchant ships that we took out. So two destroyers, although we got credited one. A large troop ship, a large oil tanker, a modern composite freighter and also the uh, um, the other modern uh, cargo ship as well. I can't remember what it's called. A bulk cargo carrier. That was the other one. So yes, um, yeah. All in all, a very good and productive day. A bit cheap, 
attacking the harbours, but um, not a lot else was happening, and uh, it was nice to um, get a bit of tension out, and uh, hopefully that will improve the crew's morale. I haven't checked on that for a while. Now we've got some points. We've got three points to um, to spend. Crew morale has hit the floor. It's probably because we've been at the sea for like years, and they want to get back and um, see their families and uh, have some shore leave with the old lasses um, and uh, and whatnot. But you know the uh, the emergency rum rations are, are looking good. So uh, until they run out, we should be fine. So we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, you know the score. Hit that thumbs up, share with all your friends, and let us see how this goes. And I will bring you some more Silent Hunter 5 next time. Thanks for watching.